Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, and who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that do real well that have taught me this truth. And I would also like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect, unto this, the true and sincere brothers that are out there prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, scattered throughout the four winds of the earth unto you. I say shalom. Your old America is gone, and it's not coming back, all right? The America that you once knew or you grew up, you know, freedom and liberty and all this BS that they push out there, that, sh that shit's gone, all right? And you're, you're, we're, we're witness witnessing the downfall of Babylon right before our eyes, all right? This place morally is decaying with all the wickedness that is pushed out in the society or a wickedness that is allowed, okay? The, uh, uh, the society in a whole is just, you know, people, people don't care about anything anymore, okay? And um, the, of course, the the economy, the dollar. All right, your your money is not worth is not worth what it once was, and the resources that you had to purchase with your money, you can't get shit anymore. You you know the, the the they had shrink inflation. All right, and to top on top of that, you have a, a overwhelming influx of migrants that are coming to this country illegally or legally, it don't matter, and they're causing um. Uh, 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 they're causing tension between the 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 people that have been li that the the people that that live here, okay? The um, um, you know the residents in these various cities. All right, we know New York, uh, Chicago, um, all the major cities are eventually going to feel uh um feel the impact of um of these uh, migrants that are coming into this country, and it's all by design, okay? You got to understand, Esau, the devil. All right, he's allowing this to take place. All right, he's giving them he and like they, they, he's allowing them to come in and giving them resources and funds and EBT and all these and all these things and able it, it for the, so they can survive. All right, but at the same time, you know, um, these these a lot of these cities, the, the majority of these cities, don't have the resources to um, to go you know to go around evenly. All right, so what's happening is, of course, the smaller cities are going to take. It's going to take a toll on them um, first because they don't have they don't have of course as much resources as some of the larger cities, but everyone's going to get hit. Everyone's trying to search back for that old America, you know how it once was when you know um, you could you know you could you could purchase a home, all right. You could uh, you could save money. You can't do any of that now, all right. So I'm a, um in this, in this article, you know, it's going into a, a Springfield, Ohio, where um, like apparently you have twenty thousand Haitian illegal migrants. That have flocked to the city, and uh, you know, they, I wouldn't say they're calling a ruckus, but they're you know, they're they're, they're causing people to uh, feel some type of way. And see, there are a the few of the people that are at a city council meeting, and the people are um, expressing their concerns, you know, about um, about you know everything that's going on. And, and this may this is a small city in um you know the Midwest, but at the same time, these problems, these issues are going to spread. To these larger cities and eventually people are not going to be you know at no city council meetings people are going to take matters into, into their own hands and with esau the devil supplying the other side with all they need of course they're going to supply supply them with weapons too all right so it's going to be a clash eventually here it's going to be a civil war here in uh in, in america and that's what the elites want all right they want um they they want to uh, the people to exhibit a a certain behavior so they can thus bring for in bring bring uh, forth order, all right. That's a part of the new world order, a new system, all right. Um, so let me uh, I read the, I read the top of the article, and um, apparently this was uh, this guy with this duck. This was in uh, this was in another city in um, another city in Ohio, I believe, not uh, Springfield, but. A, you know, it is what it is. It said the Springfield, Ohio population, 60,000, have been overwhelmed by roughly 20,000 Haitian illegal migrants who flocked to the city, exag exag exaggerating a significant house crisis, according to city officials, by eating pets and wildlife, according to locals. All right, so we don't know, you know, we can't, we don't know if that's true, but hey, it's possible. All right, I'm going to play this video of this Jake at the city council meeting, and, you know, he's just kind of, you know, basically airing his concerns, but I'm pretty sure um, people that live in his community have the same, you know, or have the same uh, sentiments as him. 
I think it's like kind of odd that like a guy like me has to come out from doing what I do on a daily basis to have fun. Cause I see what's going on in these streets and I see you guys just sitting up there in them comfy chairs and suits and like, and I'm getting out here every day and I'm broadcasting this and you guys are just sitting up there in suits. And like I, I really challenge you guys to get out here and do something. These patients are running into trash cans. They're running into buildings. They're running into uh, they flipping cars in the middle of the street. And I don't know how like y'all can be comfortable with this. Like, I don't know, like, Who's getting paid from it? I feel like, I honestly feel like someone's getting paid from it in the background. They dropping, they, you got a bunch of people on a bus getting dropped off at a gas station to come down here. I know a single mom that FaceTimed me tonight, FaceTimed me this morning at the welfare office that really need, like, that really need something. And it's nothing but immigrants over there. And I don't even want to, like, seem like I'm coming down on the immigrants because it's the people that's bringing them down here. Cause right, and, and a lot of Jakes are seeing what's going on, all right? Jake may be into a lot of folly and bullshit, but Jake Jake could understand and see, you know, the, the bigger picture of what's happening, okay? And like I said, this is Springfield, a small town. I don't know what I said. I, I saw another post where um, on Reddit where they said this guy, this this wasn't actually in Springfield, but hey, it's happening. All right, listen to this, uh, this, this lady right here. She's talking about the crime. She says, uh, moment Springfield, Ohio resident tells mayor that she can't take it anymore. A Haitian migrant squat on her lawn, litter in her yard, harass her and, and her elderly husband daily. So they, they coming over here doing what Esau is paying them to do. All right. Hey, stir shit up. Okay. Then they don't want people in these rural areas either, even though this is not a rural area. They want everyone to be in the city in a centralized location so that therefore they can have more control. Thanks so much. And... I'm done with what I'm seeing. It is so unsafe in my neighborhood anymore. I have the homeless that were trying to camp out, and I have I have made concessions with them, and I try to help them the best I can to keep them from trying to squat on my property. But it is so unsafe. I have men that cannot speak English in my front yard screaming at me, throwing mattresses in my front yard, throwing trash in my front yard, and I can't. I look at me. I weigh 95 pounds. I couldn't defend myself if I had to. My husband is elderly. And last night, after living in this home for 45 years, he said, Noel, guess what? It's time to pack up and move. He said, we can't do this anymore. He said, it's... And the thing about it is you can't. You can move, but you can't run from it. All right, unless you move out of Babylon. All right, and, and people don't have the funds and the resources to move up out of... Uh, move to another country. You know, that takes green card. That takes paperwork. And... and you know, these people don't got no money for that. But that old America with people were used to being safe and having the police patrol their neighborhoods. You call the police and they come, they show up, they take a report and they handle the situation. That shit is gone. All right. Because why is all these incidents happening and no police is in the vicinity? OK, well, you, you got to ask yourself that. Like how look, look, right, this right here, tensions came to a boil last year. At a, oh, this is last year. Uh, illegal uh, immigrant had a. Uh, from Haiti caused a uh, school bus to crash last August, killing 11-year-old Aiden Clark. This was last year, but so, you know, slowly but surely, they've been, you know, uh, thousands upon thousands of um, migrants, okay, coming from all over the world, not just south of the border, not just the Caribbean islands. They're coming from China. They're coming from some parts of Africa, some parts of um, uh, uh, Europe. Of course, you know, you had a bunch of so-called Ukrainian refugees that came over here once the Ukraine uh, the Ukraine conflict with uh, Russia started. So Esau is causing this whole thing to take place. All right, so it can eventually boil over, so the people can you know the people can just hey, be fed up and say you know f this f this you know what what what's going on you know we're gonna take matters into our own hands. They come into our lawn. They come into our house. We we gonna blast them. All right. And, and of course, that's going to cause tension. That's going to cause an uprising of the people. It's going to call wars. It's going to call um, cause a uh, civil war, race wars. All these things are going to take place. And it's just a matter of time. And as the, in the province of the Lord, we're warning our people. All right. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we can't save you from this. All right. The only one that can save you and protect you is Yahweh Shinyam Shah. OK, the Lord is the one that's going to protect us and save us from uh, dangers. All right. From all these perils. All right. We can't protect ourselves. We have to pray and put faith in the Lord that when these times come, when, you know, a migrants or whoever, you know, troops or whoever it may be, come to take over your neighborhood or come to um, um, 
uh, rams ransack your house, the, the Lord will protect you. All right, they may they may um, pass your house and go to the next house. Okay, it, but you have to put your faith in your heart by Shema And uh, and this like this may be this may seem like a uh, um. It may not seem like it may not seem like a big deal. It's not a big deal right now. But like I said, once these events and once this um, these these migrants begin to um, once these prophecies begin to touch home and these prophecies is at your front door where you can't avoid it anymore, then you're going to know that oh, those guys were right. They they you know those brothers on the corner they prophesied about this. We were warned about this. Okay, you, we hey, we was warned two thousand years ago from your house shot. Okay, so hey, it's it's, it's Things are happening, all right? And that old America that you thought, you know, was going to come back, if Trump was going to make America great again, you thought America was going to return to what it once was after the, uh, you know, how it was before the pandemic. No, this shit is it's spiraling in a downward uh, is, uh, a position. It's basically taking a nosedive, all right? You ever see a plane crash and you take a nosedive? That's America right now, all right? And, it's, and eventually it's going to crash out. So let me start with... Um, the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 24. Yahweh Shai spoke of this. For, um, 24, verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and deceive many. So you got a lot of false prophets out there. All right? A lot of false messiahs that think they're going to save and protect our people from the perils to come. To save, you know, to they think they're going to, uh, 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 um, you know, fend off the, these plagues. All right? Hey, the elect got to go through it, all right, just like everybody else. But the elect are those ones that are have been chosen or predestined from the beginning to be saved from the perils. Verse 6, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled. All these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So on top of people invading one another, all right, there's going to be pestilence, all right, you know, famines, disease, all right, earthquakes, all right, so-called natural disasters, even though Esau may be the one causing them, but these things are going to take place all, all at the same time where one, um, one, uh, you know, you can say tragic event happens in another, okay? This is, um, I'm going to jump down to verse 12. Because if iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So eventually these people, all right, where they got, you know, whether they Haitians, whether they Venezuelan, whether they Chinese, wherever they are, wherever they may be, all right, they're, if they're, you know, they're causing a ruckus, these people, these um, so-called, these American citizens, they're going to they gonna mount up with guns, and it's going to be all-out war in these streets, all right? You, gunfire is going to be, um, it, it, it's not going to be, you know, you hear gunfire, you know, okay, it's going to be something that you're going to damn near hear every night, every day, all right? This is Second Ezra's chapter, um, I'm going to actually start with 15, I'm going to jump back to 9. Uh, Second Ezra's 15. And um, 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw off nine. One people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand. Oh, that's the race riots, that people, you know, fighting, coming against each other. All right, when the modern day sword is the gun, okay? One people is going to stand up and fight against another, all right? For there shall be sedition among men invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Not regarding their kings or their princes are, um, is basically saying they're not going to regard the government. All right? They're going to take matters into their own hands. They're not going to say, stand down, don't fight against these people, call the authorities. They're people, 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 that's going to get to a point where it ain't going to be no city council meetings to discuss nothing. Because people ain't going to show up because they're going to handle the situation themselves. All right? That's the spirit that, that is growing here in Babylon. Because your police, your government, they're not going to protect you, all right? And at the same, at the end of the day, we don't condone going out and fighting nobody, all right? Because, you know, we trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that, you know, he's going to deliver us, he's going to protect us in this time, all right? In, in these times that we're coming into, all right? Let me jump back to um, the 6th chapter and the 22nd verse, 2nd uh, verse 6 and 22, and suddenly shall the song places appear on song, the full storehouse shall be found empty. All right, so through all these things that's taking place, just like it, through all these things that are taking place, hey, stores are going to be looted. All right, businesses are going to close down. All right, that's thus eliminating uh, uh, more resources for food, basically food, medicine. 
All right, necessity. These people need need you know to 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 get by, to live. All right, a trumpet shall give a sound which in which when every man heareth it, they shall suddenly they shall be suddenly afraid, and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies, and the, the earth shall stand stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. So, like I said, it's going to be people. Hey, best friends fighting against each other for for food for for uh, um you know pretty much survival, okay. And at that time, friends shall fight uh, fight one against another like enemies. All right. Um. Now let me go back to uh the ninth chapter. Second answer is nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, and the signs, the tokens, they represent the prophecies, okay, that, that we see coming to pass, all right, we see Egyptian rising up against Egyptian, we see, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, potential race riots, class riots, okay, this state against this state, all right, you saw that in that movie, uh, Civil War, that came out uh, maybe a few months ago, maybe four or five months ago, where they had, you know, the um, the Western Alliance. You had these in Texas and California had banded together to come against the uh, uh, the government. All right, these things are going to happen. These things are are not just in the movies. These things are actual events that can take place and will take place. All right, verse two. Then thou shalt understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest be will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people. All right, so eventually, you ain't going to just have a few people talking at a city council meeting. You're going to have multiple people, all right, that want answers. They want answers. They, they want immediate answers. They don't want to wait till, you know, they get the facts, none of that stuff. People are coming with the facts that this is taking place in their city or this took place on their property or whatever. You know, they were robbed, and they want they want someone to do something about it before they, people, like I said, people, like I was saying, people take matters into their own hands, all right? So we're coming into sorrowful, sorrowful times, all right. Where, where if you unless you unless you have the shield of 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 Yahweh Bashim Al Shai faith, all right. As you know, as the Lord is your shield and buckler, you're going to be through, okay. Um, let me see. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Speaking of Babylon. Speaking of Babylon, uh, Jeremiah 51 and uh, 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Actually, I'll read 7. Um, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And all these nations, all right, are um, sobering up from that Babylonian wine. All right, the philosophies that Esau... All right, uh, uh, um, you know, Babylon, America has sold these nations and they, they, they've become, you know, um, they sober enough that they become mad. OK, uh, um, so, you know, hey, America doesn't uh, also has to worry about a foreign problem with uh, with these nations. OK, and also a domestic problem with their, their citizens here. OK, uh, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take bomb for her pain? If so. If so, be if so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches reaches up to heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. So Babylon is not going to be healed. You're not going to get that old America back. Okay, you're, you're not going to. Uh, um, it ain't going to be like back in the '90s or back in the '80s or '70s. Okay, it ain't going to even be like in the 2000s. All right, it, 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 as time goes on. As the clock ticks, America is deteriorating. All right, this place is like a a, a a cancer that's getting worse and worse and worse, and we're getting we're at the point where it's it's, it's terminal. All right, you can't bring it back. Okay, you might, you might as well put America in a uh, um, hospice and, and you know let her, let let America be. All right, but to those that do have eyes that, that see what's going on, you better turn to the Lord. All right, because these same perils that these residents in Springfield, Ohio, are dealing with. They're coming here to Babylon. Oh, never mind, excuse me, Babylon. They're coming to a city near you. They're coming to your city. It's migrants in your city too. All right. Well, you think that you're safe or you live here and yet no, they come into your city. 
All right. And, you know, hey, you can fight fire with fire. You can mount up, mount up weapons. But at the end of the day, the, 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 uh, Yahweh Shai said he that live by the sword, die by the sword. So we ain't, we're not going to trust and believe in carnal weapons that we can deliver ourselves because we can't. We know we can't. OK, you know, you have to, you know, it, in these times like this, this is when you really have to be circumspect. You have to really walk in the spirit because that's the only remedy for the, the this 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 uh this Jacob's trouble that's coming amongst us. All right. Um this is Ecclesiastes twelve and one. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Remember the creator, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and, and 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 practice, you know, practice and build your faith. All right, you just say you can't say I just have faith when you you're not practicing faith on a daily basis. Okay, you have to, this faith is not something that, yeah, faith is a gift, all right, and you may have faith, but you want your faith to, you want to have the, the highest level of faith when these, when these, um, when these times come, all right, you don't want to, um, you don't want to lack faith, okay, you don't want to lack, uh, 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 um, the spirit, Isaiah 55 and uh, 6, seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near, you got to seek the Lord, all right, the scripture save, um, seek him 10 times more, all right, you should be seeking the Lord. You should be, you know, um, tr you know, uh, repenting, all right, trying to do any and everything to get right with the Heavenly Father so he can fight for you in that day. So his angels will cover you in that day, all right, because, hey, we don't know who the hell's in this country now, all right? You could have serial killers, serial rapists, all right? You get, you could have these countries, these, these, these individuals that are coming over here. If I was, if I hated, a, you know, a, a certain country, I'm going to send my worst of the worst. All right. Let along uh, 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 with troops and, um, you know, uh, uh, people to infiltrate. All right. That's what's over here. All right. And you hey, it's really no way to prepare, but to get right with the Lord. All right. Um, I got a few more scriptures. Ephesians five and. Um, Fifteen. See that you are circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise being circumspect. You know, means to look around, okay, to, um, you know, when you go somewhere, you got to be circumspect. You got to be walking in the spirit. You just can't be going anywhere acting like everything is all good and you safe because that's when your ass will get got, okay? That's when you think you walk into the, you walk into the store and um, he's walk, coming from the store, got your groceries. That's when somebody going to snatch your shit or snatch your kids, all right, when you're not circumspect, all right? redeeming the day excuse me redeeming the time because the days are evil we're living in evil evil days and this devil is plotting this devil has planned all this out all right and esau and, and a, they're gonna they're gonna use the you know the migrant situation that they created to um as another reason why we need this digital id digital surveillance all right uh, uh to bring forth that motb all right um let me skip over to the next chapter and uh, read uh, Ephesians um, 6 and 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that ye that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And wiles is the uh, the trickery, uh, uh, what's the scripture? I mean, the wiles means a methodia, which means the trickery of the devil. All right. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. All right, we're in that evil day. We're approaching that evil day. All right, where it's going to be lawlessness. It's going to be anarchy. All right, like I said, the love of many shall wax cold. People are going to take matters into their own hand. Shit is eventually going to boil over. All right, and... When it does, you want to be prepared, all right? Not physically, but spiritually. Not carnally, but spiritually. You want to be prepared spiritually so, you you know, while everyone is bugged out, you'll, you'll, you'll still have a sane mind. You'll still be cool, calm, and collect, all right? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Harakakwadash, Shalom.